Okay, we're back. All right, um, let's just click on our spaceship here. Um, and inside our inspector window, we have our different components. Um, what we're going to do now is we are going to add a movement component to our ship because right now it's just kind of sitting there. So to do that, there's a couple different ways to do it. And the first way I'm going to do it is I'm just going to click on assets and I'm going to go to scripts right here and double click on scripts. And you can see there's a folder called movement. I'm just going to double click on movement and you can see there's all these uh, pre-made scripts, which is kind of the beauty of uh, Unity Playground. Uh, we can drag these scripts and um, attach them to our, our uh, game object. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on Spaceship Blue. And that then what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab the Move script and I'm going to pull it out. And you can see it turns up. There's a blue line appears right there. I can put it anywhere, but I'm going to put it right on the bottom. I'm going to release. And then this um, information pops up here. So it says type of controls. I personally like WASD. Speed, we can set that in a minute. Movement type, all directions. And I like to orient to direction and have that look access up. So if we click this right here, click the play button, and it will pop into our game window. And I use my WASD keys. You can see my character moves around. Now he's moving. It's moving way too fast, so I am going to slow that down to two, maybe two. Let's try that again. Let's see what two looks like. Um, yeah, that's definitely better. Okay, so my character moves now. That's perfect. Um, now, a bit boring for a couple of reasons. Number one, there's no background on here, so there's a couple different ways we can do this. Um, we can click on assets again, and we can click on images again, and you can click on backgrounds, and there's only three backgrounds in here. So what I did, and what you can do as well, and I'm just gonna move this down, um, move this out of the way here. Um, you can see right here, I've actually just downloaded the JPEG of, oh, I don't know what that is, a black hole or something like that. And all I need to do is grab my JPEG, and I'm going to drag it down into backgrounds and I'm going to release and it will put that JPEG just into my background. So what I can do now is I can grab that background and I can put it in my hierarchy and you can see there is my background. Now right now it's a bit small so let's just stretch it out a bit to a bigger size and we'll keep it fairly small for now. So there's a new background so if I click play um, give it a second to kind of compile. You can see I am now zooming around in my background. Now you see my ship kind of disappeared there. And one of the reason the reason for that is um, if you click on sprite render right here, you can see the order in layer, and this is set at zero. We want to move it back. So we're going to click this as minus one. Um, and if I click on my spaceship, and look at my sprite render, you can see it's set in zero, so it will be in front of the background, which is what we want. I still think that background's maybe a bit small, so let's close, um, minimize sprite render there, click on transform, and scale it to, I don't know, 25 by 25, bit big, maybe 22 by 25, sure, doesn't really matter. Um, okay, so let's zoom in a little bit more, and you can see in front of my character, the there's kind of the this JPEG is sitting in front of it that is the movement script. So I'm gonna get that's way too big. So I'm gonna click on Gizmos, this little down arrow, and you can see up on top 3D icons. I'm gonna zoom those down so they're quite a bit smaller. There you go, just like that big. It's gonna make it a little bit easier to see. Okay, so we have our background, we have our character. Um, now, probably best, I'm gonna call, I'm gonna rename this, uh, I'm gonna call this uh, background. Uh, and yeah, I'm just gonna leave it at that for now. Okay, so what we need now is we need uh, some objects to bump into or destroy. 
So I'm just going to click on Assets. I'm going to click on Images, and I'm going to go to Asteroids. Uh, I'm just going to choose this one right here for now. I'm going to drag it out and put it right there. And there is our first asteroid. We kind of sit it right there, bring it up a bit just in front of our player, and that should be good for now. Okay, when we come back, we're going to take a look at uh, creating some collision events and looking at how to duplicate the asteroid and create some prefabs.